It is Monday morning. We are at the thrift store, the Deseret Industries thrift store to be exact. Um, we are here 15 minutes early and there is nobody in line. Yeah, no one yet. I don't think I'm gonna go pop. Oh look, there's a car. Yet. Oh, we, we better go. We, we better, better go. go. Except we gotta be first. We're never first. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Zeb, you headed out to the yard? Going. All right. I'm definitely gonna go to the dish aisle first today. Um, we've been selling a ton of dishes, getting ready for the holidays. Let's go see what treasures we can find in the yard area. They usually have bigger furniture and stuff out here. Let's see if I got anything good here. This is interesting. Paul's graph. Let's see what that is. China, made in Japan. Those are pretty. I'm not sure about those. Maybe I'll put them in my cart and ask questions later. I like this one. I might get rid of those dogs and do something of my own in there. Little birdhouse. This is a pretty good little birdhouse. Three bucks. I haven't found these in a while, 75 cents. I usually don't buy all of them, but I love the mugs. Those are cute. We got some shelf corbels, a matching set. Sometimes we only find one, $1.50, yeah. I'm sure there's some other stuff I've missed, but I'm gonna go look around and see if I can find other things real quick. $2, it's leaded crystal. That's so cute. I love the tulips. I see back here a Ray Dunn mushroom that's interesting gnome all right i found one and i came around the back side of the cart and there's another one way back here dollar fifty i actually saw this last week and passed on it because there's only one but it's like really big and so cute so i think i'm gonna grab this it's worth 75 cents. This frame's brand new. I'm gonna have to take it. Oh, and there's a lantern back here. Oh. Lanterns are good. Five bucks. So there's a seashell cookie jar. I don't normally, oh no, I'm not gonna go for that. if there's anything that's interesting. I like this for Christmas. It says it's made in Italy, so I'm gonna pick it up. This looks like old stoneware. It is. I'm gonna pick up that bowl and I'm gonna look at that. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like the bottom would have had a pitcher on it. It's got roses. I wish I had the pitcher. I'm gonna pass on that. Jamie said no more roasters, but I really like this big white enamel. How much is it? Let's see if we can find a price. No price. So this is a really pretty doll and I like the box. And then I saw it was made in West Germany. So, you know, it's kind of older. I'm gonna pick it up. It's pretty. Is this a wall shelf? It is. Oh, that's a good one for three bucks. All metal. I kind of like the transfer wear on this, but it's not old and the pattern has a big line through the middle of it. This is cute. It's like a little shelf. I actually think it's cute upside down, kind of painted like a corbel. But it would work both ways. It's only $1.50, so I'm gonna pick it up. Is this Santa wood carved or is he resin? I think he's resin. Still though, he looks like wood for $7. Did I miss a Lazy Susan? Oh, I did. Does it spin? That is the question. Does it spin? Looks like it's kind of wobbly on its hinges here. Does it just need a repair? It's from Ikea. I don't know if that's worth repairing. So there's this box here for $4. It's a metal ornamental tree. We've got a lot of jewelry displays and small things that hang in the shop. These might be good for a dollar each. I'm gonna get them. 
So I got this really cool metal clock, but it's got some dings in the ring and it's $20. So I think I'm gonna leave that. I feel like that's too much. So I'm looking for more older books. I'm not seeing a ton. This one's sitting on top for a dollar. A treasury of human, American folk humor. Sorry. Ooh, it's early. We're not holding things together. Let's see. It looks like somebody tried to sell it in a bookstore. How old is it? 1956. I'm still gonna pick it up. I like the color. Do we need more wood totes? I'm kind of loving this one. Looks like it was purposefully made to hold some sort of tool, complete with cobwebs. Uh, but I think I, if I got it, I would take this middle piece out. So I always say that I'm not gonna buy furniture because the barn's full, but this is $10. It's a pedestal. I think it would be a fun, quick project. And I did just sell a dresser and a mirror, so I have a little bit more space. It fits, so we'll see what Zeb says. So what do you think? If it fits in the cart, it's not furniture, right? Totally not furniture, that's awesome. I brought what you over you to the- What have you been doing in here? You haven't even been shopping. Hey, but I, this fills up a lot of space. Look at what you've been doing. So this is $4, but we need to go find some plates or something to put on it. All right, Zeb's already been out here, so we'll see what he passed on. How much is this? No price on this, but this is a nice big one. I'm going to pick this one up for sure. Ooh, look at that floral. That's pretty. Oh, there's lots of it. I feel like Jamie passed this up because the grapes are strong on this piece and it is all scuffed up. It needs like a whole polish situation on the bottom. I'm definitely gonna pick up that gathering basket if it's not too expensive. Two dollars? Are you kidding me? That's so great. Look how pretty that is with the flowers I just grabbed. Oh, I love it. You know how I feel about planters with feet. This one definitely needs a paint job, but for two dollars, I think it's a good buy. I'm a sucker for little chairs. I actually saw another one of these out on the other floor, so I might grab them and take them to the shop. I'm looking for some plates for my tray here, my tiered situation. I really like this plate here, but I don't know if there's anything else that'll go with this. It's like, is this like a green scalloped cabbage plate? I don't, I don't know if that's cabbage, but that's kind of cool. See, that one plate is perfect. I need to find a bigger plate that's blue that I can put down below, because this is a little bigger on the bottom. Okay, so the blue plate's coming home anyway, because I like it, but we found these Waverly ones with the rose pattern on them, and we're gonna go with these. We're gonna have to repaint this. The black doesn't work, but I think that goes good. So I found this little one for $10. These sell for about 24, 25. So I feel like that's a good markup and they look super cute with floral. This one I really liked, but $20 was a little much for me. So we'll see if it's still here next week. Sometimes they mark things down if they don't sell. On Thursday. No frames today, unless I find something that actually blows my mind, like this little guy here. That's cool. <laughs> I lied, we're getting a frame. So here's a little enamel baker, not marked on the bottom, but has a lid. So I'm gonna pick it up, I think it's really cute. So last pickup of the day, I said I wasn't gonna buy any more speckled enamel, but this is a coffee pot, so I can't leave it. $2, it's a really good price. So our total is $176.25 for three giant carts. And we have probably over, I think 50 canning jars all total. So I'm pretty happy about that. So we had to put all the seats down, but we were able to fit three carts full in here. I'm feeling pretty good about this haul. Under $200 to fill my car. Today we found a ton of stuff. I'm always still eyeballing for and some end tables for Eliza's room because we're probably gonna thrift those anyway, so we might as well look every week when we're there. But 
didn't find any. We just, they got to be perfect. I'm about to build some if we don't find some soon. They have to be perfect because Eliza requires them to be perfect. I think we thrifted a ton of really great home decor. Some of it's high end, some of it needs fixed. If you guys want to see what we're going to sell it for and hear what we're going to do, don't forget that we have our Saturday night thrift hauls live at 8.30 Mountain Time. And if you want to shop along, you can just go to jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. And stick around. I'll give you a slow-mo of all the things we bought today. 21 decor. These canning jars are just for us. It's harvest season.